Welcome back to another experience video, this time with the Audi R8 V10 Plus. This is Archie, my friend Archie Hamilton Racing, who is right here. If you spin the camera, you can say hi. It's Joe. will be down below. Actually, can I borrow the key from you? So we can go inside in a bit. He has just literally just picked this car up, so his plate's just gone on it. And uh, we're going to give you a little bit of an experience video. Then I'm going to hop in with Archie, and we're going to see what it's like. It's starting to rain, so I'm going to show you around the outside. Now then. This one being the plus, it's a flurry of carbon fiber. That is first started on the front here, where you got a little carbon fiber front splitter. This is in uh, the Audi blue, a beautiful color, my personal favorite for the R8 or any Audi for that matter. It's got blacked out grills down here on the front, but then on the front grill right here, the main grill, it's still chrome, but I believe you're gonna black that out hopefully at some point, as well as potentially doing the logo right there. Not much else to say apart from on the plus, uh, you also get carbon ceramic brakes, uh, which this car has. No, you don't get them on the V10. You get steel brakes. Yeah, you get the wavy. They look cool, but they don't look like this. We've got the V10 Plus um, wheels as well, which you've had painted black by Redline, who sold yeah. you the car, which looks fantastic. On the side, obviously, a little V10 logo. More carbon fiber for the plus, so carbon fiber wing mirrors. Uh, through here now you can get these in carbon fiber here. They're painted in a sort of slate gray uh, They can be in carbon, but there's an option even on the plus uh, No carbon side skirts either round back more of the carbon of the black wheels and carbon ceramic brakes now Here is where there's a lot of carbon massive wing. This is uh, only on the plus So this is how you can differentiate the normal v10 to the plus uh, this one right this wing right here and then down here we've also got a full carbon fiber diffuser the rest is all finished in piano black you got your quad uh, exhaust and then here we have the engine so i'm just going to go in open the engine so you can uh, see what kind of beauty it is ah there we go boom and it opens automatically let me grab that key v10 naturally aspirated v10 this is basically what well, I mean effectively the exact same engine as you have in the Lamborghini Huracan yeah it's based on the same chassis Audi owned Lamborghini but that is a 610 horsepower naturally aspirated v10 the days are gonna be short that we're gonna have engines like these I think it's one of the great engines uh, that's out there right now everyone's going for turbochargers and stuff but it's great to see that the mid-engine isn't it yeah well. mid-engine naturally aspirated v10 I mean it's so rare that you have that you have this beautiful glass bit here as well so you can actually admire it while you're on the road and you can uh, see it from in it's the cabin as well hot. yeah it's super hot right now it's literally a massive heater but why don't we go inside um, where you can see the engine as well and we'll show you around there okay. mm -hmm. I think that's good. on the left here some more Welcome to the cabin of the Audi R8 V10 Plus. I'm gonna switch the aircon off because we don't necessarily really need that, but this is one I genuinely really like this. A lot of people say it's not quite exciting enough. Um, I think it is just so cool in here. It's so futuristic and so usable as well, this car. You could probably use this every day if you wanted to. Um, this is the famous steering wheel with the virtual cockpit, which you've probably seen loads on Instagram. This is very popular, people doing those sort of watch photos and stuff. But as soon as you come in, so you're greeted by, first of all in this car, fully black leather is the spec with blue stitching. So when you get in, you arrive, you've got the door handle here, your lock and unlock buttons which light up kind of this is almost yeah. exactly the same button as in the Alfa Romeo is, Julia, yeah. Quadrifoglio you've then got your boot release we'll show you the size of the boot as soon as we're out of here as well as all of your window controls and mirror settings right there now moving upwards well tiny bit up here you've got the uh, the aircon the your air vent which is really nice all finished in carbon this car has the full carbon interior option um, so that's cool to have it on the door 
up here as well by the way it's not continued you can have this continued in stitched the diamond stitching leather or alcantara in this car it is finished in uh in just this other stuff which is not leather or alcantara <laughs> But yeah, so then steering wheel is very nice. Even the center of it here is finished in leather, which shows you that you're in something proper because often this is finished in plastic. But here, proper leather. It's really nicely shaped, thin steering wheel, but really nice and and uh, and grippy so that you can you can properly adjust the car around the corners and stuff like that. Um, paddles behind, which are actually very weirdly positioned. I remember when we drove the V10 Spider in Monaco, they feel very far from uh, from your fingers so you have to stretch around like this and kind of almost let go of the steering wheel to get a proper shift it's also very small slightly plasticky feeling as well then on the steering wheel this is where all the magic happens basically so we've got the engine start button which we should press right now foot on the brake car uh, key in your pocket and boom there it goes so the engine start button which is all important the exhaust engine sound sport and then you put it back into standard so there's just a flap in the exhaust which opens and then when you've got it in sport that's when it'll do pops and all of that stuff we then got the drive select button which is very important so drive select as you'll see it pops up on the center console right here and this is where you select if you want it in comfort mode uh, auto which is basically just what you drive it in all the time dynamic or individual where you can set your own settings so an individual you can have for example a loud exhaust but comfortable um, suspension or anything like that so in dynamic it opens up even more there's even more pops and then here you have your performance uh, button which basically it's a little flag that takes stability control off and makes it even louder yet again and that makes it pop a lot sounds amazing we've then got all of the I mean this being a massive screen right here the virtual cockpit it was the first time I experienced one of these full screens as a dashboard you don't have a GPS screen you don't have a sat nav screen or anything like that in the center console it's all down here I think it is awesome so you can zoom in for example here we've got our sat nav um, so you can see that we are in England for example I mean how cool is that that you have everything on there then you can go through different views so you can have your sat nav there but then uh, your main um, revs and speed and everything power torque you can basically just go from different settings it's just never ending you can have all sorts of stuff your music your your trip um, computer settings you can have everything on this car it's just I, it's one of my favorite touches I think it's absolutely unbelievable and uh, yeah that's the main center of it again surrounded in carbon fiber more carbon continued down here uh, I'll try and switch the AC off so that you're, you're not getting blasted by air but uh, more carbon fiber continued here we got these again another really nice touch these little uh, screens right here in the climate control settings so normally when we do these experience videos I just say this is where you control your climate control settings um, but in this car it's actually a thing you really want to be able to look at and how do you press these yeah boom you got all your little buttons in there as well it's just so so cool uh, little touches like that are really nice you then got heated seats as well uh, which is very nice now this car has if you look at these these are the comfort seats you can get recaro seats but they're actually fixed so you can't move them you can't move the back side of them and they're really upright whereas this you they're so comfortable they're some of the most comfortable seats i've actually ever experienced of any car let alone a supercar these are finished in this awesome diamond cut blue stitching as well which looks absolutely fantastic and i love these they're electrically you can adjust them every which way possible awesome seats down here We've then got, look, your parking sensor buttons, your hazards, traction control off, uh, so that's uh, stability control. Um, auto start stop, on or off, is down there. You've got this big robo-styled gear shifter, which is actually, I think, looks a bit odd and is unnecessarily large. Uh, you've got your park button on it, and then you can obviously put it into manual mode to be able to have your paddles. you then got your sound control, but that's more for just for the passenger. If it was up to the driver, you'd probably control it from the steering wheel. And then here you got all of your shortcuts um, to be able to go through all sorts of different menus on the uh, virtual cockpit. But again, if you're the driver, you'd probably do most of this from the steering wheel. And then obviously your electric handbrake. Here we've got a small little cubby, nothing serious. 
Archie has already left a wrapper <laughs> in there. Um, but a little cup holder section, um, not really a massive glove box here, which is a bit disappointing. Yeah, no, it looks like you could open the whole thing, but you actually yeah. can't. You then got your CD. Um, six CD holder, SD card holder, SIM card holder, and everything right back here, as well as a little storage area. Um, so if we, if you hop out, actually, now that we've seen, oh yeah, glove box, Check. which is actually huge, yeah, really, really large. And then one cool touch which we just discovered: these little lights, which we're using for filming, are actually. You say you don't even need to touch them, but they're basically, if you touch them, they'll go on and off. They're like touch lights, which is very cool. Which are, it is actually on other cars. You have to touch it. You have to touch it. Cool. That's okay. You've broken it. There you go. <laughs> and then you've also got your your um, obviously your little mirrors as well with your sun visors, which come out. This is a thing that happens a lot on supercars. They come out the wrong the wrong way. You know, usually mm. it would go that way around. But anyways, yeah. If you hop out, I'll show you the noise. I've got it in all performance modes: exhaust valves open. Well, I'll I'll start it off with the valves closed, so in quiet mode. Then I'll open the valves and I'll. I'll do both and you can try and see the difference. Was there much of a difference? A little, yeah. I couldn't hear too, too much, but it sounded like there was a still a little something. Now, last thing we need to show you is the front boot. So let's do that now quickly. It's actually surprisingly large for a supercar like this. Bigger than in the Hurricane. I don't know how that works. Well, that might just be my imagination. But, I mean, it's not huge. You can fit your weekend bags and stuff like that. It stretches out and you've got space behind the seats as well. But you know, oops, sorry. <laughs> it's better than, uh, for example, the Exige. <laughs> yeah. But that's like that's not saying much, is it? Um, but yeah, there you go. That's the boot, and that is the Audi R8 V10 Plus. Arch is now going to hop in the driver's seat. I'm going to hop in the passenger seat, and we're going to go experience it. somewhere around so you can go see it. It was a spider though. Oh, oh it's so quick. It's quick as 610 it? horsepower. Oh my <laughs> god. And it just goes, doesn't yeah, it? Because it four wheel drive. Gee, because the one I drove wasn't a plus. You do need to open the window. How good is that gearbox? The gearbox is crazy. Literally, you think it, it does it. It's insane. <laughs> it is ridiculously fast. <laughs> Jesus. You do need an exhaust, though. I 100%. I, I am you do doing that, though. You need an there. exhaust. I am on the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, it, you know, when I, we first heard it, when you rev it stationary, it sounds really good. Yeah. But when you get on it, yeah, you it's just not quite loud enough. Could be so much louder. And when the one we had with the air was the convertible, and that was fine. That was yeah. plenty loud enough because but it, it does the isolate the sound quite well in it. And then you just go back to comfort mode, yeah. and then you're. Well, you were saying that in a few occasions it does feel a bit like A3 like. Yeah, yeah, like when I drove it back the first time from the dealership, I forgot that I was in an R8. Yeah. And yeah, that's yeah. one thing that some people don't could like. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Yeah, there's two ways to look at it. At yeah. the end of the day, it is an Audi, but it's a V10 Plus, it's a V10. Yeah. So when you want it to be crazy and like the most ridiculous thing, 
it can be. Yeah. But then when you want it to just be like a cruiser, it can be as well. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. No, is. which is good. But I will say, when you get in it for the first time, like I've just jumped in it as a passenger, and you start moving, it does feel very supercar like. I mean, it's super like a slanted uh, uh, window in the front. You've got this huge area here, that massive screen, carbon screen, all over. Yeah, the car, the carbon is so nice, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's just, it's just really. Um, it's just, I just think it's really well made. So do I. It feels quality inside. It feels yeah, it's just really the nice. Quality, quality of it is. Really I love. Good. Um, I love these seats. <laughs> and it literally like hurts when you're I, getting pushed I, back. I know the seats, comfort seats. So you can get the Recaro seats, or but they're not adjustable, are they? No. So you literally you can't move them up or down. And people say they're really, the, they are. Quite this uncomfy. side isn't adjustable, so yeah, yeah they, you know you feel yeah. really upright. Do you feel comfy? Oh mate, like are they heated as well? Yeah, you get heated seats. Heated seats. Um, obviously, all the dash you have all that futuristic. Yeah. Um, you know, like what was it? What it um, virtual cockpit. Virtual cockpit, um, exactly, which is really nice. A few things that are a little bit weird. The paddles are the same as like an A3, so you just have to. They're also quite small and they're quite far. Exactly. Aren't they, from you kind of want them. Boom, boom. Bigger and like in the Alpha, the Julia, yeah, the um, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Um, I ha it looked like it's super, super, super nice inside, but I do see how after a while it could get pretty uh, dull. Dull. Yeah. <laughs> Not dull, but you can you can see. Cool you can see the end. Yeah. What people say is that they say, don't drive if you if you own an R8 V10 Plus, don't drive it too much because you could get too used to it yeah. and that's when it's a bit of a yeah. a bit of a problem so yeah um no i know exactly what you mean it's very practical though very with practical. all the spacing as we saw in the but uh, first bar. i mean yeah. the, all of it's just really really I and mean, from coming from the the corvette it's a, it's a it's a big step but the the wheel is the most iconic bit isn't it yeah well, that you've wheel got the exhaust you've got uh -huh. the start button the drive select what's it like because so i drove the the r8 v10 spider um, I remember spider, the, yeah. the, the steering was super quick, the brakes were amazing, and those weren't even the ceramics, these yeah. are the ceramics. Um, the they ceramics were so the quick. Oh, yep, they were. Yeah, the, the ceramic oh. brakes, mate, are like properly good. Yeah, oh, yeah. They're I was insane. like, I can believe it when I, I got, drove out of the dealership and I was just like, what the fuck? Yeah, they yeah, literally, yeah. like, if you, if you wanted to stop, look. Oh, oh. It's insane. <laughs> you see what I mean? It literally just gets on it all of a sudden. And to drive, what's it like to drive? Is uh, it communicative or I mean have you driven it enough to really be able to So it's just it's just a really, really comfortable car to drive. Yeah. The more you drive it, the more it kind of I don't know, it's just every time you drive it it's just a really nice experience. Yeah. yeah um yeah. I can see different ways how like I don't think you can drive it too much. You need to you need to leave this car for weekends and things like yeah, that. Yeah. Because yeah, otherwise yeah. you will get too used to it and yeah. uh, and rack up a lot of miles. You would put so many miles on it easily. That's the thing. <laughs> Especially when you're going this quickly, you'll put miles on it like it's crazy. Freaking fast. It's so quick. I mean, basically, it is a Lamborghini Huracan. Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, Lamborghini it, yeah. will hate us for saying this. Yeah, but it's a Lamborghini Huracan with an Audi badge and a few little things here and there that are different. But yeah. it sounds basically the same. It's just as fast. It's just as fast. It's, uh, Not the six. only thing is maybe yeah, inside and stuff. Um, it, you could get more used to this, and you like could. Like the Lamborghini is a little bit more uncomfortable, but has yeah. Lambo everywhere. But so that's technically, a good thing. it's a worse car. But, but, that, but you that's, kind of want it more because you of want that, that because yeah. you don't want to be able to drive it down to the shops. I could yeah. just be like, pick up my friend from the train station, be like, oh, yeah, I can pick you up in the R8. You yeah. shouldn't be able to do that. You yeah. should be able yeah. to be like, all right, well, should we just take that out on the weekend? Not like, yeah. do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Because yeah. uh, yeah, I know exactly. What you mean. Yeah, well, I mean, the it is very cool. Like, that is the most impressive thing. I think that is the most impressive thing of this car is the gearbox is mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and that's the thing that they improved on the Hurricane compared to other Lambos more because like a Ventador. But I mean, with this car, yeah, it's a fantastic car. Yeah, it's it one is. of the best all-round supercars out there. I right think now. so. And 0 to 60 is like 2.7 seconds, which is ridiculous. Oh, it's insane. Uh, and then you just have, you know, like oh. six, 600, 600, yeah, listen to this, 610 brake horsepower. Some, some rather hefty 
Yeah. Sweet. But yeah, okay, <laughs> we should probably head back to the house and yeah, let's video let's, before yeah, we let's, get in too much trouble. Yeah, no, we, we don't want to show our speed there right now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, but what was I, um, what would you... I ate. I ate, very random. What um, would I? Could you own question? one of these cars? That's my question. Could I? I could. I, I, I really could. Would it work in Monaco, the driving a... Uh, an RA. RA. RA? Or would you go for the Spider? If I got one of these, I wouldn't get a daily. I know you have a daily, but I would drive this every day. Really? Yeah, because you could. You could, and you'd save the money, although you would depreciate it. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> you depreciate fast. Especially because I drive a lot of Monaco. That's my thinking. I don't know uh, how you did Gumball in an Exige. Elise, mate. Elise. Like an Elise Club Racer. Yeah, that, that was hardcore. Anyways, we're getting sidetracked. Back to the house. Well, that was pretty. Oh, I just got a job <laughs> of rain in my eye. <laughs> that was pretty cool experiencing the area. <laughs> 10 plus. Thank you, Archie. Anytime, anytime. We just did the experience video on the Corvette and this man, it was losing I don't have mind, loads of money before you ask. Yeah. These cars are financed. Yeah, they are financed, <laughs> they are financed. But he, we only just did the Corvette one and he's now got the Audi R8. I don't own both. I um, sold the Corvette. I can't believe that actually really hurt, that drop in my eye. Anyway. Stop complaining anyway. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Hey, it was literally dying behind the camera. Uh, remember to subscribe to Archie if you haven't already, if you want more content with this car. And I will see you again very, very soon. Cheers. Uh, bye bye. <laughs> hey, yo! Quick cap saving, Saturday in the mouth. Snow Juliet.